Today we will be using PTC Pro Engineer Wildfire 4.0 to project some holes through the three-dimensional rectangular prism that we have on the screen. The dimensions of it are 1,000 millimeters long, 500 millimeters wide, and 200 high. So when we do our projection, we're going to start by doing a circular hole that only goes halfway through our object or projects 100 millimeters in. How we'll do this is we'll first have to make a sketch of a circle on the plane that we want to project through. So we will grab our blue graph sketch tool from the upper right. The sketch window will open up and it asks us what plane we want to use. Instead of choosing front, top, or right, the three normal work planes, I'm going to actually select the top of my rectangular prism because it will automatically recognize it as a plane to project through. I will select Sketch. The program reorients my view to be looking straight down at the top of the plane that I just selected. Now, to start, I would like to just put a circular hole halfway through. So I'm going to grab the circle tool, which is called Center and Point, from the right side of our screen. I'll select it by left-clicking one time. I'm going to put a circle in the area of the rectangular prism that I'm using to put my hole through. I'll left-click one time, and that will start the circle. I'll drag my mouse across my desktop, and I'll left-click one more time to put the circle down. To get my dimensions, I have to center click or click on the black rolling ball of my mouse one time. There are three dimensions displayed here. The diagonal slash through the circle shows me the diameter, and then there is a distance from the vertical axis to the center of my circle, and a distance from the horizontal axis to the center of my circle. To position this, I'm going to first change my diameter to be 150 and hit enter. Then, just to change the location of it, I'm going to put my circle 300 millimeters off of the vertical axis. And I'm going to put it 100 millimeters off of the horizontal axis. So I'll double click, type in 100, hit return. Now I've got my circle positioned where I want it and I'm done with this sketch I want to project it so I'm gonna click the blue check mark in the lower right hand part of my screen this will take us back to our rectangular prism and I want to change my view so I'll go to the named view list I'll left click on it and in this menu I will select isometric now, if I click my black rolling ball or the center click and I scroll around holding it down, I can change this to different views. And you will see that my circle is just on that work plane. I don't actually have a hole in my object. To get a hole in my object, I'm going to use the extrude tool. In Pro Desktop, if you are familiar with that program, you actually use a projection tool. In Pro Engineer, you use the extrude tool and you just have to use it in a little different way. Instead of adding the material as it's showing me with this yellow mark, I have to change a couple things. The first one is because I'm only going to a specific depth, I want to make sure that this icon next to the number is the icon with a blue uh, U looking symbol and three gray lines, which means I get to choose my depth. I want to only go halfway through and I know my rectangular prism is 200 millimeters tall so I'm going to change it to 100. Now this is showing me that right now if I were to click the green check mark it's going to give me a hundred millimeters of material extruded on top of my block. I don't want that because I want a hole so I have to do two other things. The first is there's a double line here to the right of the number and this changes the depth direction so instead of extruding above that plane, I'm going to click that and it'll show me that it's going to extrude it into the center. The next thing I have to do to get a hole is there's a blue square with a uh, corner cut off which is called the remove material button 
and I have to make sure that I click that so that it knows to remove the material. And once I've done this, I can click my green check mark and I will notice if I scroll around here that I actually have a hole, but it only goes halfway through as you can see from our side profile and it doesn't come out the bottom even though we see those two red circles. So we've projected a hole halfway through our rectangular prism. Now I'd like to project a hole all the way through the prism and it doesn't have to be a circle. You can do this with any shape. So for the next one, I'm going to do a rectangle and a circle and we'll project them all the way through the prism. To do this, I need to go back to my sketch tool. When I select my sketch tool, I again get our sketch box up. Because I want to do it on the same work plane, I'm just going to click the Use Previous tab, which will take me back to the previous work plane that I just used. So now I'm on the previous work plane. I'm going to put a rectangle using the rectangle tool in the upper right quadrant here. And then I'm also going to put a circle down. I'm going to snap it to the vertical axis here. And I'm going to put my circle in the bottom half of our rectangular prism snapped to the vertical line so that it will be centered. When I center click again I will get all my dimensions and this time I have multiple dimensions for my rectangle I have four of them to be exact and I only have two for my circle because it doesn't give me a dimension off of that vertical line because I snapped to it it still gives me the dimension off the horizontal line and it still gives me a diameter to change but not off the vertical line because I'm snapped to it I'm gonna change my diameter of my circle first I'll change it to 150 and hit return. I'm going to change my distance away from the horizontal axis by double clicking on that number. And I'm going to change that to 120 and hit enter. Now for my rectangle, just to change the dimensions, I'm going to change the width of my rectangle to 250 and I'm going to change the height of my rectangle to 100 and hit enter. Now that I'm done with this sketch and I have my circle and my rectangle in the spots that I want them and I've got them dimensioned to the dimensions that I want then can click the blue check mark in the lower right hand corner signifying that I'm done. To give you a better view again I'm going to go to my named view list and change the view back to isometric. Now you'll notice that I don't have holes all the way through here yet. I've just got my figures on the top of our rectangular prism. So now I want to project the holes all the way through the prism. To do that I'm going to go back and select my extrude tool. And again it's showing me that it's going to extrude material above that and add material to the rectangular prism. And we know I don't want that, so we have to change a couple things up in our center toolbar here. The first one is directly to the left of our number, there is actually a drop down menu. And I want to go down to the, um, it's actually the fourth icon in there, and it says extrude to intersect with all surfaces. Now again, it's showing me extruding above my work plane, and that's not the direction I want. So now I have to click the double arrow to signify that I want it to go the opposite direction. Once I've done that, I need to signify that I want to remove material by clicking the blue square with a corner cut off here. The last step is to click the green check mark and it should give me two holes in my rectangular prism. And if I switch my view around, I can see all the way through that. I still have my hole that is halfway through but now I have a circular and a rectangular hole that go all the way through my rectangular prism. Hopefully you've learned how to project a hole all the way through an object and partway through an object to a given distance.